Hello second graders, it's Mrs. Briggs here with lesson 19's deep dive for module 1. Today you will re need, you will need, your reading notebook. We're going to use the knowledge section again. Um, and you might need a color of his own. We'll be creating some sentences um, and you might want the book to give you some inspiration. Alright, echo read after me. Our craft question is, how do writers use compound sentences to connect ideas? All right, here we go. What do you remember about compound sentences? So it's been a few deep dives now since we've talked about them, but we did go over them briefly a while ago. So a compound sentence is actually similar to a compound word. Two smaller words combined to make one bigger word. So a compound sentence has two sentences put together. You can connect the sentences using words like and, but, and so. Hmm, what are those words called again? Ah, yes, I think those connecting words are called conjunctions. Repeat after me, conjunctions. Awesome. Let's read the following sentences. Identify the sentences and conjunction in each compound sentence. So we're going to look for the two smaller sentences that are combined with the conjunction to create this longer sentence. All right, the first one says, later the leaf turned red and the chameleon too turned red. So we're looking for the two sentences. Let's see, let's start at the beginning. Later the leaf turned red. Could that be a sentence by itself? Well, it has a subject and it has a verb. So yes, it could. What about this last part? The chameleon too turned red. Oh yes, that could also be a sentence on its own. So that must mean this word right here and is our conjunction. Great, let's try the next one. If I remain one on, if I remain, oops, there's a typo, let's fix the sentence first. Instead of saying, if I remain one a leaf, let's change it to, if I remain on a leaf. This is how I magically erase things that are typed on here, ready? I use white, and I just color over it, like white out. Perfect, we fixed a mistake. All right, here we go. If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so I too will have a color of my own. Let's find these two sentences and the conjunction. If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. Could that be a sentence on its own? Does it have a subject? Does it have a verb? Yes and yes. Awesome, let's check out the last part of the sentence. And so I, too, will have a color of my own. I'm noticing we have a couple conjunction words here. We have and and so. That's really thick, so we're going to use a skinnier marker here. And and so. Sometimes you have so by itself. We often have and by itself as well. Could we say that so is actually part of this second sentence. So I too will have a color of my own. We could. And and is our conjunction. And the last sentence. But in autumn, the leaf turned yellow. And so too did the chameleon. Again, we're looking for our two sentences. But in autumn, the leaf turned yellow. Could that be a sentence on its own? Yes, it could. And so too did the chameleon. And is our conjunction. So we use a lot of ands today. We could also use the word but, we could also use the word so. Let's look at this paragraph. I want you to think about what you notice here. The scarlet leaf helps the little yellow leaf. He helps him leave the tree. The older chameleon helps the chameleon. He helps him change his mind about changing colors. The chameleon changes his mind. 
the little yellow leaf changes his place. What did you notice about that paragraph? Does this paragraph sound interesting to you? I don't know about you guys, but I think it sounds kind of boring. All the sentences sound kind of the same. And all the sentences start with he or the. Authors often use a mix of simple and compound sentences so their sentences do not all sound the same. If we just keep saying the blah blah blah, the blah blah blah, the blah blah blah, it gets really boring to read. If every sentence were the same, the text could get super boring. So how can we connect some of these sentences using conjunctions? So in red, we have the, the paragraph that I just read to you. The scarlet leaf helps the little yellow leaf. He helps him leave the tree. The older chameleon helps the chameleon. He helps him change his mind about changing colors. The chameleon changes his mind. The little yellow leaf changes his place. It's a lot of short, choppy sentences. So we could... We could combine some of the sentences. <clears throat> and sometimes when we combine sentences, it might take a little more than just squishing them together and putting an and in the middle of them. So here's what we could do. We could change it to the scarlet leaf and the older chameleon are both helpful. The scarlet leaf helps the little yellow leaf leave the tree and the older chameleon helps the chameleon change his mind about changing colors. I want you to reread these paragraphs, paragraphs to yourself and you decide which one is more interesting to read. Which one sounds better when you read it? You can pause the video to give yourself some time to reread them or you can uh, rewind a little bit on your iPad or go back a little bit to listen to me read them again if you're stuck on some of these words. All right, yeah, so the second paragraph sounds a little more interesting than the first one, and we threw in a conjunction here and combined the sentences to sound better. You can use compound sentences in your own writing as you work in your knowledge journal, response journals, and on focusing question tasks. So whenever you're writing, think about what am I writing and can I Add a conjunction to make my writing more interesting. So your job today is to choose two sentences or write your own to add to your knowledge journal. Then instead of underlining the subject and the verb like we did on the past um, deep dives, today you're going to underline the conjunctions in the sentences. So that means you're looking for the words and so or but. Those are our conjunction words. They help us connect two sentences. So again, you can use two of the three sentences that are on here for you or you can write your own. So the first one says, later the leaf turned red and the chameleon too turned red. The second one says, if I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever and so I too will have a color of my own. And the third one, but in autumn, the leaf turned yellow, and so too did the chameleon. So again, you can choose two of those sentences to add to your knowledge journal, or you can write your own. And don't forget to underline the conjunctions in each sentence that you write. Uh, so you can pause the video to give yourself time to add those to your knowledge journal. And we're coming in for a landing here. How did adding compound sentences improve your writing? Well, it made my writing more interesting. And before my sentences sounded too much the same. Now they sound better. So adding conjunctions to create those compound sentences just make our writing more interesting and makes it kind of more fun to read. <laughs> Okay, that is actually the end of our deep dive today. So the only thing you needed to do yourself is to 
Write two compound sentences in your knowledge journal and circle the conjunctions. Again, you can create your own sentences or you can use two of the three that are listed here for you. All right, great job today, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.